Maserati Levant is a turning point in Maserati's history. The brand new model, which made its world premiere at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show, enables the Trident to access the largest luxury segment in the world. The Levant significantly contributes to the creation of the most complete product lineup in Maserati's history. The name Levant was inspired by a warm, Mediterranean wind that can change from mild to gale force in an instant, mirroring the character of the first Maserati SUV. The Maserati Levant is based on the evolution of the saloon platform, designed exclusively by Maserati. The chassis has been specifically developed to offer unique on-road drivability and competitive off-road capability, with day-to-day -day comfort and practicality. The premium Italian SUV was conceived around three main pillars, design, exclusivity, and performance. It represents the optimum blend of these three elements in the SUV world. Maserati's new V6 engines have been a great success since they were introduced in the Ghibli and Quattro Port models. The Levant features the same 3-liter unit with two different power outputs. The V6 petrol engine is twin-turbo with the latest GDI technology developed by the Maserati powertrain in conjunction with the Ferrari powertrain development team. This new generation of Maserati engines are more powerful, more exciting to drive and more eco-friendly than ever. The high-efficiency Maserati V6 petrol engine features high-efficient fluid dynamic and combustion, low-inertia parallel twin turbos, double continuous cam phasers for each cylinder head and high pressure, 200 bar, fuel injection. Maximum torque is available well below 2000 rpm ensuring superb day-to-day -day drivability. In the sport driving mode, the exhaust bypass system provides a unique Maserati sound experience. The 430 HP version of the twin-turbo V6 engine has already made its mark in the Ghibli, and has now been improved even further to deliver an extra 20 HP. With 321 kilowatts, 430 HP, of power at 5,750 rpm and 580 nm flat torque in sport mode between 1,750 and 5,000 rpm, it delivers a powerful driving experience. In normal driving mode, the torque rises to 500 Nm in the lower rev range reaching 550 Nm threshold at 5000 RPM. The V6 engine features advanced valve control technology with hydraulic roller finger followers and 4 cam phasers, twin turbocharging and direct injection ignition system. Jaguar's F-Pace has managed to provide a clear distinction between the British brand's SUVs and those of its sibling. Where Land Rovers focus on off-road chops and utility, Jaguar's F-Pace crossover, which will soon be joined by the smaller E-Pace and electric I-Pace, builds on a reputation for cars that are pretty to look at and entertaining to drive. Lightweight and agile, it delivers many of the fun driving aspects of the new XE and XF sedans, yet in a tall, consumer-friendly SUV package. This one, however, has what is likely to be the least popular engine choice in the US, a turbo diesel four-cylinder. Most of what makes the F-Pace so likable remains, and you'll save money at the fuel pump, but know that this isn't the quickest paced F-Pace you can buy. Drives like a sport sedan. Dive into a turn, steer sharply, brake late, the F-Pace forgives and even encourages this behavior. With lots of aluminum in its makeup and an expensive double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension, this is a crossover that truly does drive smaller than it is. I'm reminded of the eager, playful way the XE sedan goes, stops, and steers, big praise for a 3,913 pound CUV. Passes fuel stations. The F-Pace diesel is rated for up to 33 miles per gallon on the highway, and I routinely saw 31 to 32 mpg on the trip computer without even trying to hypermile. That's pretty good, especially when you consider that the next thriftiest 2018 F-Pace, 
the 25T that uses a 2.0-liter turbo 4 gasoline engine, is rated for 27 mpg highway dot sharp styling inside and out. The F-Pace is really pretty, living up to the expectations laid down by the other curvy and shapely Jaguar designs. Crucially, it doesn't simply follow the mold of every other luxury crossover in this space. The same is true of the inside, where the handsome, understated cabin sparkles with high-quality materials in every direction. Bright and colorful infotainment screen. The 10.2-inch touchscreen, dubbed in Control Touch Pro, is lovely to look at and use. It's bright, colorful graphics are modern and easy to decipher, its functions and menus simple to use while driving. I'll admit that the JAG system is not always the quickest or most predictable in its response to finger pushes, but I still find it very appealing.